Yes, you finally got your first tech job as a cloud engineer. Now it's time to talk about what it would look like and what to expect on your very first day working in this job. We all know there are loads of roles that are fully remote and most likely you'll just get sent a laptop and start working from home. But let's talk about this as if you were going into the office on your very first day. Please enjoy this video. So to begin, first things first, of course, you don't have access to the office, you don't have access to the building, and you'll need someone to come and get you from the front of the building before you can head up into the office. And this person will most likely be your manager or perhaps someone else in the team that's gonna go through the orientation with you. But let's say it's your manager. This moment is always kind of funny because you've done an interview online with your manager and you're finally seeing them in person for the first time. You can never really tell how short or tall they are on camera, so it's always a surprise when you actually see them in person. Now, when your manager finally comes and gets you, they'll most likely take you to reception to get you a visitor's or temporary pass. It always takes a while to actually get your actual ID card. You'll have to fill out some form or something, and then they'll give you the ID card so you can enter the building in your own time. And that's probably one of the activities you'll do on the day. You'll fill out some stuff to kind of request your ID card and maybe take or send a picture that you want on your ID card and that sort of thing. Then another thing is your laptop for work. Now it's one thing or the other, either they would have sent you the laptop to your home already and you'll bring in the laptop on your first day of work or they'll have the laptop waiting for you in the office and they'll give it to you then. But once you get the laptop, they'll give you your username and password and your work email. And you can use this to log in for the first time and set up a couple of things like your email signature and the apps you're gonna use and all that good stuff. Typically the next thing would be like a little orientation with your manager. You might go through the different people, the different personnel, the people you're gonna be working with in the different teams and some basic stuff about the organization that you don't know already, perhaps the stuff they're working on, perhaps what your role is gonna look like and where you're gonna fit in with the team. If you're lucky, on your first day, you might even be on a meeting with the rest of the team. And if you're in on this meeting, you'll most likely get an introduction. They'll say, oh, we've got a new person joining. His or her name is so-and-so. And please welcome them to the team. They might do this by email, or if you're on a call, they'll do this on the call. And if they do this on the call, you'll unmute your mic and say, oh, hey, thank you for joining. I'm looking forward to working with you guys, blah, blah, blah. And this might even lead to some further calls with other people in the team who wanna introduce themselves properly and let you know about the different things they're working on that you could get involved in in the future. Usually on the first day, it's highly likely that you'll be going through lots and lots of training videos and initial training before you can actually start working on anything. This will involve videos that explain stuff about the company you're working for. It will have videos explaining different things that you're gonna be working with, perhaps your ticketing system or different things like that. And once you go through these videos, it will give you a kind of baseline to understand how to use the certain things that you're gonna be using for the team. Depending on where you're working, these could be loads and loads of videos that take days to complete, or it could be just a couple that will take three hours of watching and you could be done in the first day. Now, after the videos, it's likely that you will have to start getting access to different things. And of course, for a cloud engineer or a cybersecurity engineer, getting access to these things will take a while. You're not gonna be given access to the whole system on your first day. Maybe not even your first week. Maybe not even your first month. It's a high security risk to give someone that is completely new to a role full access to systems. And so it might take a while before you actually start to have access to the different portals and the different things on the systems. On your first day, you will get the most basic access. Maybe you'll get access to a test deploy system, or maybe you'll get access to like the preliminary system that doesn't actually affect anything live or production. And so when setting up your access, your manager and those giving you the access will definitely take this into consideration. You've got to earn your way to that full access. You can't just get it given to you. Now, another thing that will have to be set up on that first day is your VPN access. Pretty much every tech will require some VPN access when you're working from home. So if this is a role that you're going to be working from home in, you'll have to get that VPN access set up so you can actually access certain things when you go back home and you're working with your laptop from home. Now, usually this doesn't really matter when working with cloud portals like Azure and Intune, but this will matter with different files that you're gonna be using and perhaps different other things that are VPN protected. You'll need to use a VPN to get onto those systems. I feel like I've covered most of the things you'll be doing on your first day. There's no first day that you're gonna go in and start performing and working on stuff like you've been there for years you are new to this role. And any normal company 
will allow someone that is new to the role and especially at an entry level to actually take some time before getting full on and working on stuff like an expert. So now you've got your laptop, you've got your access to the portals you need. And when I say access to the portals you need, it's, it's probably for now just gonna be your email and perhaps some test deployment portals. You're not gonna get access to production Azure or production Intune or any of those portals that actually make changes to the environment. But this is what the first day looks like, getting your VPN set up, initial training, all that sort of stuff. And of course, meeting the team. You've met your manager already, you're gonna be introduced to some different people in your team and the organization, perhaps having one-to-one -one calls with certain people they feel like could help you to have a smooth transition as you start to work in this environment. Now I've gone through this process about three times in my career so far, as I've had three different tech roles since I've started working in tech, and each one is a little bit different. They're not all the same. Now some of them have been slower and some of them have been much faster paced. And during my first weeks of the times I've worked in these roles, the speed at which I've started to work on stuff has really differed. Now I've mentioned that there's some roles in tech that I've been really heavily working on stuff within two weeks at the organization and I've been digging in and getting involved. And there's others where it's taken two months to actually fully start working on stuff. It definitely varies depending on the role you're working in and the company you're working for and how fast paced that environment is and also how much they need personnel to get in and start working on stuff. Of course, if you're a more experienced person, you might be expected to start getting stuck in a lot earlier than someone who was at an entry level role. But this definitely differs from company to company. Even experts might come into a company newly and still take some time to get involved and understand how the company works before working on stuff really heavily. But that is what to expect on your first day working as a cloud engineer. And I hope this video makes sense and actually helps some people who are getting started as cloud engineers to prepare for these roles as they will be starting soon. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram and I'll catch you later.